Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a guided meditation on our self-identification. What does that mean? It's speaking specifically on how we identify. What is our identity? And there's a lot of factors that go into that, which I'm gonna talk about as we're doing a guided meditation, in terms of how we see ourselves and how that impacts us on a daily basis. So you get comfortable. You could sit up straight with, again, straight posture. And when you feel comfortable enough, or if you feel comfortable enough, you could close your eyes. So we are dominated throughout our lives with so many stimulus that becomes part of our self-identification. I want you to just kind of be here in the moment and explore all of this with me. It's to help you to get to know yourself better. Understand all of your facets. And take a few deep breaths and allow the tension to float away. And affirm to yourself I have a body, but I am not my body. body may find itself in different conditions of health or sickness, it may be rested or tired, but that has nothing to do with myself. I value my body as my precious instrument. It is only an instrument. I treat it well. I seek to keep it in good health. I have a body, but I am not my body. I have a body, but I am not my body. Again, notice what comes up as you say that. Now affirm to yourself, I have feelings, but I am not my feelings. My feelings and emotions are diversified, evolving, changing, and sometimes contradictory. They may swing from love to hatred, from calm to anger, from joy to sorrow. Yet my true essence, my true nature does not change. I remain. Though a wave of anger may submerge me, I know in time it will pass. Therefore, I am not my anger. I can gradually learn to direct, utilize, and integrate my feelings harmoniously. I have feelings, but I am not my feelings. I 
have a mind, but I am not my mind. My mind is a valuable tool of discovery and expression. Its contents are constantly changing as if to embrace new ideas, knowledge and experience. It makes new connections. Sometimes my thoughts seem to be independent of me and I try to control them even though they refuse to obey me. Therefore, my thoughts cannot be me. My mind is an organ of knowledge in regard to my inner and out of world. But it is not myself. I have a mind, but I am not my mind. Have a body and sensations, but I am not my body and sensations. I have feelings and emotions, but I am not my feelings and emotions. I have a mind and thoughts, but I am not my mind and thoughts. longer have to have a stronghold, identifying myself in specific ways, but just allowing myself to be and being curious what shows up, being open and flexible to how I see myself. And allow the openness to flow through your body as you take it all in and allow yourself to be open to new ideas and not get stuck in familiar patternistic ways of identifying. Open yourself up to seeing yourself differently and to creating a new narrative. Allow that to just flow through your body. Free flowing air right through your lungs. And just notice the breath. And when I count to three, believe in you wholeheartedly and unconditionally.